Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Hey, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Mindset Talks. We're in for a treat. We're always in for a treat. Every time I have a guest, okay, a treat. So I want to introduce to you today, Mr. Corey Jones. Corey, Corey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Listen, Corey is my my friend, my brother in Christ. Uh, he's also my fellow church member. Uh, he, Corey has many hats, you know, just before I was like, Corey, what, what is it? You got a title? He said, well, I'm, 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 a, I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a coach. I'm, yeah. I'm a deacon. I'm, I'm a, a, a real estate mogul. I'm construction. I'm, he does everything. Corey just, Corey the man. He's a drummer at the church. Come on, Corey. Got some beats now. He got some beats. <laughs> Corey, what's going on, bro? How are you, Rochelle? Glad, glad, thank you for having me. Oh, man. Uh, thank you for um, agreeing to come here. Um, so, so guys, look, this one is going to be a little different. Normally, um, when I do mindset talks, there's someone who has uh, formally gone through uh, one of my programs, some type of health coaching um, under me, through me, or whatever. So Corey's a little different. Corey has not formally gone through uh, any of my programs. However, Corey and I have had many, 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 many talks about health and wellness. Many, many talks, many sidebars, you know, at church. You know, talk, talk to me, text messages. I mean, we've had many, many. Uh, and so uh, <laughs> so this is about um, just Corey knowing me, who I am. You see, some of y'all know me as uh, Coach Rowe, um, the health motivator. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I was in the military, I was, I was Colonel Parks. I was, you know, to my family. I'm I, I got look, you don't know my nickname. I got Nick. So Corey knows me as uh Ro, Rochelle, the, the Damn. wife. Damn. Uh, the champ. There you go. There you go. I said, I said, I wonder if he's gonna say it. I was telling somebody. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. Corey is he said, I'm gonna call you and you gotta tell that story, Corey. But yes. hold on. So, like Rochelle, the 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 wife, the mom, the the health ministry leader, like you know, so this is that's what this is because some of y'all, Corey, you know sees a lot of me, you know, well, saw a lot of me before COVID, but, you know, during the week pre-COVID, you saw a lot of me. So, Corey, tell the people, uh, what, what do you know about Rochelle T. Parks? Just if you could just let the people know. What do I know about Rochelle T. Parks? Well, I can tell you this much. You have been and still continue to be a major inspiration. I think that's the 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 number one thing I'll say. And so, I, you know, I could unpeel that and, and, and put a number of characteristics next to that about why you've inspired me. Uh, you know, I, I'd say, and this isn't in any order of importance, but I'll just kind of go down the list. Number one is consistency. Mm. Um, I'll tell you, th there's a gentleman that was the AD at Riverdale Baptist High School. I used to teach there. It was my first job out of college. I was a student teacher and a long-term substitute. And his name is Terry Terrell. And he said, um, people that are average do, they can do great things occasionally, but what people do that are excellent are do great things consistently. Mm -hmm. And what are great things? They're doing the things you know you're supposed to be doing. And so what you have done uh, from a workout standpoint and from a health standpoint, and then from a giving back information to the people standpoint and the consistency that you've done that, has been one of those things that has really rocked me because, you know, I am someone that have done, I've done right. And when it comes to my eating for what I would say stints, you know, when I take, talk about a stint, I'm talking about a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Right. But you have just really consistently done these things. And so what happens is it's begun to become infectious. Mm. What happens is, is if she can do it, <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> right, 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 right. And, and so I think your consistency has been really solid. And then I don't want to go off too long talking, but I got to keep going real quick. I have okay. you prepare these meals. And, you know, I think that meal preparation is there's a larger there's a larger characteristic that really is your strategies, the strategies that you put in place. Because meal prep is just it is just one of your strategies to make sure that you don't get the okie doke, which is the right. Right, don't fall for the okie doke. <laughs> you know, but, no, but you know what's funny is that a lot of times in my life, when I haven't had a strategy, then when life hits me, I don't have a get out of jail free card. And so meal prepping for me now is one of those things. When I saw you, I said, you know, 
10 minutes in the nighttime will save me tomorrow because I'm all I am is hungry. I just got to make sure I have my sweet potato and my chicken breast with me. There you go. There you go. Like, oh, yeah, this food desert. So anyway, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's and, real and, talk. Yeah. And I mean, like ingredient reader, like I, I was watching. So I know you guys, listen, this is me not talking to Rochelle. I'm talking to everybody else. Listen, I can go on and on. So I'm going to stop real quick with this next thing, but I have way more to say and hopefully she blessed me with the time to say it. So I'm going to yes. just go to the third thing. Ingredient reader. Um, I'm going to tell you, my mom used to take me to a place called Glut and another place called Beautiful Day. Um, these are places near high school with wood floors and the grain is in these cardboard circular things with a with a lid, a plastic lid. And you got to go in and get the grain and you got the almonds. And ain't nothing in no bags. Ain't nothing processed. Yes. You yes. got to put it into something and weigh it and they yes. charge for an ounce. And so that's what I grew up. And you know, they uh -huh. say the apple don't fall far from the tree. That's right. Well, you brought me back to the tree because mm. I saw you on Facebook one time. And it's amazing how God uses you, how I'm not really watching you. And then all of a sudden you pop up, ding, and then I'm watching you again. And you counting, you in the, in the store on Facebook, just looking at foolishness versus <laughs> not foolishness. Right. And, and, and the thing is, about some of the things that are, um, that are not foolish, that are good for you, they taste great. The question is, is can you determine what you should be putting in your body? And you got to look because because these advertisements lie. Not they lie. Not GMO, no sugar. You know, what's this new, Roger, what's the newest thing everybody talking about now? Um, sure. You know, not vegan, but there's just so many different. There's so much. There's so much. And you know what tells the story that you said is that label. What's going on with the sodium? What's going on with the sugar content? What, no, what does it have in it? And how many ingredients are in it? Is it five or 25? Yeah, right, how, right, how right. He ain't been watching. He been watching. <laughs> so, so I will say this to, the, to everybody watching. I ain't been through the program, but I done been through the program. Because <laughs> I've been watching Rochelle T. Parks, and she is, um, in, in one word, she is a mentor. That's what she is for me. And I thank God for you, Rochelle. Mm, man, that's high praise coming from Corey because uh, you are a mentor to me and Pops in many, many ways. And you know that. And so that's high praise coming from you. Um, definitely appreciate um, your friendship, you know, uh, uh, your mentorship. Um, gotcha. And uh, so that's good stuff, man. Uh, I'll tell you, you, you I, I never like I can never know who's watching. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like as a matter of fact, I, someone just yesterday, I um, she just crossed my mind and I sent her a text. I said, "Hey, sis, didn't want anything. Just um, just want to say, hey, how you doing? You know, whatever. Hope all is praying all is well. That was it." She replied to me. She said, "Uh, oh no, no, I'm with you at least two days a week because I do your hits." I was <laughs> like, "Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know." <laughs> right. I didn't know. I mean, you know, so you just never know. So many times I've been at church and somebody will comment, you know, about something I said on Facebook or whatever. I'm like, I didn't even know you were watching me on Facebook. You know, uh, I'm talking like some older people, too. I'm like, I had no idea they were even watching, you know, because yeah. everybody doesn't comment. And so that was one thing I know Pops encouraged me early on when um, I was looking for the comments and the likes. And Pops was like, bro, everybody's not going to, but they're watching. Just keep right. Just keep putting it out. So many times, Corey, I want to stop. So many times, I'm like, nobody paying attention to me. Pops was like, yes, they are, bro. I promise you they are. Just keep. Well, I, I want to say something, though, about content. You know, when someone like myself has missed some things and wasn't watching you for maybe a month or even two, once we get back, we scroll back through and look at other things. So, it's, so don't don't get weary and well doing. And I know you're not, but I'm just saying um, that that is something that, because when, when people discover Rochelle T. Park, they're like, what else has she done? And I know yeah. that, I, and I say that I learned a little lesson with my son. He had posted some things for baseball and no, these, these scouts hadn't really paid any attention to him. But once he did well at a camp and, he, and they started looking at what he was doing last year and they were like, oh, he's been working out all year. So I'm just simply saying that even if the lights didn't come last year, people like me are going back because we want to see yeah. what that's, That's right. So and you know, I'm I'm experiencing that. I mean, I'll get a notification for something that'll pop up of something I posted last year. And I'm like, oh, they just 
they're just watching that, you know? Um, and so, so I, I have that, yep, that, that's truth in that for sure. I've experienced that. Um, so, so Corey, um, tell us a little bit about Corey and, uh, and, and we can take this any which way, but just about, um, your own personal health journey. Uh, I mean, cause we've been doing, how long we've been knowing each other, Corey? Oh, you know, and I, I, the way that I met your husband, and I called him Chris. There's a very funny <laughs> joke. Did he tell you about the Chris? I know joke? about the Chris joke. Uh, wife, we used to live in Clinton, um, and my wife had a flat tire. She was coming from the house to Bible study, and she called the church. And I used to play. Well, I still do, but we haven't had live drums in about a year now. But I used to play every Sunday at the church. And at the time, I was uh, at choir rehearsal, and so she was trying to get to the church. And um, she called me, but I couldn't hear because I was playing drums. And she called the main number of the church. And Michael Parks, your husband, who I thought his name was Chris, um, he somehow got to the phone. And he, uh, he didn't even really know me. This joker got in his car and drove um, to the highway and parked at the median and ran. And, and he yelled at her, Woodstream, Woodstream. And she was like, OK. And he came and helped my wife. And and um, I was calling him Chris. and. And because uh, I was thanking him, thank you, Chris. And and he let me call him Chris. And I and uh, for a he long let, time for a long time, a little while. And, and then he was like, "Well, at least I, at least you knew who I was." So <laughs> in any event, uh, that's 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 how your husband is. He's very funny. But uh, but but we, we've known each other over a decade for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm blessed to know you uh, and your family. And in terms of me, um, you know, I was an athlete in college. I played sports my whole life. Um, and to fast forward, you know, I got married and had kids and, be, had, you know, after I, I was a teacher for 10 years and then I got into real estate. But specifically as it relates to just my health, um, I sit in a chair a lot. And everybody knows that if you sit in this chair, that you have to be doing some things when you're not in the chair. And that um, I primarily used to compete in sports and I had practice and I had to so before I had kids, I played for the Woodstream basketball team. I played for the Woodstream softball team. But when you get a little older and you have kids and now you're driving them to practice. Right. Sitting in the car. And so <laughs> I gained, you know, I think at my heaviest, like I said, I was about 225. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so I had, a, I, we, I have, there's this app called Marco Polo. Yeah. Um, that's a video app that uh, my cousin Charlie Craig, who's a very thin man, he's an outdoorsman. He, he likes to go hunting and he's, he's just an outdoorsman. He's very lean. He, he saw Marco Polo, a video of me, and he said, Hey, you look like your, uh, you look like your father. And I was like, What do you mean I look like my father? You know, my father was 75 years old and his face was really round. And he said, You're starting to look just like your father. And I was like, What? <laughs> said, you know, you look like you're picking up. You know, and then I mentioned it to my wife and she rubbed my stomach and she said, it's OK, honey, I love you just the way you are. Ooh. And so, um, you know, I am I have a certain degree. I'm not arrogant, but I'm confident. And I have a certain degree of pride, I would say, that I take in myself being the athlete that I was. Right. Yeah. And those comments, which happened like the same day, because he made the comment and I mentioned it to my wife and then she rubbed, she rubbed my stomach in a circular manner. In a circular manner. Yeah. You know? And so <laughs> that was, okay, so that was two years ago. Um, and so, you know, that's when I kind of connected with you, like, I need to do something, I need, you know, and then I think, it really sunk in at the beginning of Corona because mm. I gained even more weight because Corona, I think Corona really exposes you. And let me just be brief about what I mean here, but let me be specific. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to get up early to go to work, but now I can get up a little later. And so you can go to sleep a little later, which means you can eat a little later. And mm -hmm. so, and the pantry is right across the hall. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and so, and then, and then we started buying all this food because at the beginning of the Corona, because we weren't sure about what was going on with the food. And so now there's extra treats. And so, like I said, I ballooned in my heaviest weight of my life. And I said, man, this is the wrong direction. Yeah. Um, and so, but I needed help. I needed help. And so that's mm -hmm. where you came in. Mm -hmm. You were 
strategy. You were and still are inspiration because you have to have what you have, which is a plan. And, you know, a wise man said, if you don't got no plan, <laughs> which you, you plan to fail. And so, um, and, and, and then, of course, after your plan, you have to then stick to that plan. Yeah, yeah. got to execute. You have to execute. And so I do want to say this. You have mentioned this L word. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle. Mm. That word is the word that's the hardest to really see because it's not a diet. It's not a diet. It is you making a decision. And I'm, don't give me a crying now because see, this is see what you're doing is to me fighting almost like against sin and against. Mm of darkness and enslavement. See, people don't want to be obese, but it is, it's like an elephant that has been beat and they're, they don't even run no more. Nope. They don't even run and they accept this thing. And so I tried to diet. And that's why I said two years ago, because one year I would do it right and do it wrong and do it. And when I say do it right, I mean, Really, I mean, just abstain from like everything and lose. Right. And but it's not about abstaining. It's not. It's about realizing. It's you know what it's you said. You said this. You said living is better than non-living. Mm. And, and you know, you know what God and I, I got to go with the Lord. You know Come what, on. What the Lord showed me, I went into my pantry and I saw apple juice. It didn't have. No apples in it. No. <laughs> I saw fruit snacks and it had a picture of an apple. It had a picture of a strawberry. It had a picture of an orange. Come and on. I, the Lord said, you're eating fruit snacks that ain't got no fruit. What about fruit? Right. Come oh. on, Corey. Come oh, on. No, no. Real, and, but you know, I th and then let me tell you something else the Lord showed me. I went into the grocery store and they had one healthy aisle and all the other aisles were the regular aisles. I said, that don't make no sense that they have an aisle for the good things. That means this is a bad place. <laughs> yeah. You should have maybe good and bad in every aisle. And, and I'm not suggesting that there's not different levels of good and bad in the cereal right. aisle. What I'm saying is, that store is packed with almost like the radio where they play the same five songs and you're going to like that song because they're going to jam that song down your throat. And if that song has profanity, you're going to speak the words because that's what you're listening to. You that's need right. to find a new station. That's it. Corey, you think about it. At every store, though, right over here by us, uh, uh, if, you go to, if you go to the safe, any store, typically you go in, you go to the right, it's the produce. Right, it's produce, just that whole produce. After that, that's it. The rest of it is processed foods down the aisle. Now, if you stay on the perimeter, you go produce, and then you go meats. You, yeah. you know what I mean? You stay on the perimeter, and you come all the way down the end, and then you got uh, uh, with butter and you know, I think dairy or whatever. But dairy, cheese, yeah, cheese. But the, in the middle is all processed foods. It's all processed food. Proce and, and so, what, what, what I for me, when this thing was changing, I would. When I come out of produce, my basket is three, four, four. I mean, I'm I'm about done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, and I'm about done. Yeah, and, and I found a lot in the way of uh, I found about four or five sauces that um, have all they have like you know three or four ingredients that um, are you know I vinegar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you yeah, know, that are healthy um, yeah. and 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 sugar, sodium. Um, and, you know, try to stick to those and then, you know, go with the, 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 the tomatoes and the onions and the things to chop up and saute that really add the flavor to the oh, meat. Oh man, flavor. Yeah, I, I got more onions and man, onion is my new friend as an onion. Oh yeah. <laughs> and well, and boy, I, I chopped up some today. I had bell peppers and onions and, and, and broccoli and mushrooms. I mean, that right, that's a dish all in by itself. That right there. Yes, it is. You know, that right there. So it's funny, though. I talked to a, um, I was doing Facebook Live this morning in one of my private groups. 
and my sergeant, my old, my former sergeant major, we're both retired now, but uh, he's my sergeant major when I was recruiting retention battalion commander. And uh, he jumped on the live. You know how you can bring him on live with you, right? So I invited him to come on. And what he said was, um, he was just telling me, you know, how inspirational I am, or whatever. And he said, he said, this is what people don't know. You all think she just started this. He said, she's been doing this like ever since I've met her in 2013, because we, we met in 2013. He said, this is who she's been. People, this, they just seeing you on Facebook, but this is, you. he said, what did he say? You are, uh, what did he say? You are a 20 year overnight success. Yeah. <laughs> he said, this is what she's been doing. Like all these sayings, all everything. Like he said, and that's what's so cool because it, she's singing the same tune. It's the same thing. I have not changed. People have tried to sway me. Uh, uh, tried it. I'm like, oh, no, I ain't with that. <laughs> I ain't well, with that. You know what I'm finding is that your body doesn't lie. And if your joints don't hurt anymore, if your stomach is decreasing, if your elimination doesn't smell like it used to, and if it floats, you know, there's all these things. If your urine isn't really dark yes. yellow. Yes. Dark, so, and, and, and you know something else um, that is really important? If you like when you put gas in a car, it's going now. So if you Ooh, eat, come on you, now, hey, what are we talking about? Like, and so, and so I'm finding that the different things that you've encouraged for, for, for me to put in my body, those things are helping this machine run better. And I just, I just want to, you know, let, let me, this is another funny story. It's very, I'll be very brief. Uh, I think about a year and a half ago, um, in, cause it's, it was two years ago, but then I had my ups and downs until COVID. Mm -hmm. But I planned my son in basketball and I couldn't finish. And, mm. I, and he taped it. <laughs> and uh, I, I hurt myself. Um, I, hurt, I hurt my side. And I, I couldn't finish the game and I had to sit down. And I remember the, see, I have, I got the, I, that I was like, that's not me. He 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 didn't just beat me. I couldn't continue. Mm. And he kind of laughed at me and as if it was his time now. And I said, no. <laughs> and, but I didn't change right away. I'm telling you, this major change. See, COVID, COVID is the one that is like, you know, somebody saying, What are you gonna do? Do you believe in mm. Jesus? COVID, right. COVID lets you in your home. You don't even have to come out. You can just sneak down. You can. You don't got to necessarily get up, you know, when you used to. And so it was revealing. It, it, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey said something. She said, money doesn't change you. It reveals who you really are. Who you really are. Absolutely. Now, you know, so, and so I, and I, you know, I took full advantage of COVID for a little bit. And I said, this, is this me? Because you are what you do. You know, you're not you're not what you say. You, you are know, what you repeatedly do. Hey, amen. What are you doing? Yeah. And so I thank you for your encouragement. I really do. Yeah. Man. And, and your patience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, so what is it? Um Inky <coughs> Johnson. I don't know. I don't know if this is a original quote from Inky Johnson, but um are you familiar with Inky Johnson, motivational um speaker? Absolutely. Yeah, he, he's awesome. But Inky Johnson says, um, in the midst of adversity, you revert to your training, mm. right? And so I can tell you, um, I was in Bob for God. So Bob for God, for some of you, some people know that's a uh, biblical uh, weight loss class that I used to uh, facilitate at my church. Um, someone asked me one time, she said, because what I was saying was, um, like, like you're not gonna always be on your A game. Like, you know, sometimes you have ups and you're not you're not gonna be on your A game every day. Like, you know, sometimes you're gonna fall, but you know, you get back up. And so, somebody said, Rochelle, well, what, what can you do? What can what can she, she said? What can I do to to prevent myself from from falling? Or what can I do? You know, so, I, you know, what happens when I fall off my A game? And so my response was, you have to take full advantage, right? Uh, no, 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 no. She's, she's, no, no, no. That, I know that's that. I, I was telling that life happens to all of us. Life happens. You know, you're going to fall. I mean, you know, people die, you know, whatever people, 
Sometimes it either knocks you off your, your, your A game for a minute. She said, what can I do, um, you know, to prevent myself from falling off when life happens? I, I said, well, okay, this is what I say. When life isn't happening, you got to be on your A game. Yeah. You see? See? Because life doesn't happen all the way. But life happens, but it's not every day. So the, yeah. best, the best way to counter when life happens is to be on your A game when life ain't happening. Mm -hmm. You see? And so mm -hmm. that reminds me when he said in the, in, the, in the midst of adversity, you revert to your training. Mm -hmm. See? So a person that's, if they're hokey pokey, when I say you in, you out, you start, like you can't, you don't have no real rhythm, you know? So that person right there, the minute, yeah. you know, you slip on the bubblegum wrapper, you eating cake. Yeah. You stressed out, you eating cake, you see? But when yeah. this is your deal, when the, like this is what you do, when I say, I do this every day, cause I can do this, I do this every day, cause I do it every day. Like, so when that, so when somebody dies, okay, I'm not a robot. So yeah, I, I may go down for a day or two, but I, I bounce back up quickly. Cause this, that's not, this is what I do, you know, hey. or, or my, my, my retreat may be, I'm going to run five miles, you know, yeah. but it, it ain't, it ain't for me to eat the cake. I don't think cake in the time of adversity. Right. You see? So, well, but that, that, but that I, listen, that is a change of mentality that people, and that's why when you say it's a lifestyle, um, it's almost like preparing, like we're preparing our body. And okay. so it, the question is, I, let, let me say this. This is a revelation that God gave me as well. You know, I used to always have my business card. Why do I always have my business card? For what? I always have my business card because I'm trying to do deals and real estate and broke out properties. And, right. you know, so am I thinking about my body that way? Because if I'm thinking about my body that way, I am not just having a one time a day, 15 minute workout. No, no, no. I said to my wife, I said, listen, why don't we watch a show downstairs where I can do some sit-ups? Well, why not do some sit-ups while watching a show? I don't even need to sweat. Why not in the middle of the day when I do my lunch, just do 20 push-ups real quick? No, why not? No, why not? And you know why people don't? Because we just didn't really think about it. We think that working out has got to be like a time that you get up when it's dark and you go downstairs. And how long can that last? And I'm not saying that I don't do that because my body wants it. But what I am saying is that we don't eat in the morning at six o'clock. We find plenty of time to get stuff to drink. We go to the bathroom. You might as well knock out 20 push ups. Why not? Why and so, not? And that's called a lifestyle. And I use the business card because. I pass it out different times of the day. I don't That's own right. that business card for the morning. No, it's right. on my person. And so I probably, you know, I, what I try to do is three times a day be active. Once in the morning to get it out of the way in case I don't get back to it. In the middle of the day when I go on my lunch break, I do like a seven minute. And then in the evening time, I'm encouraging my family to do some active things in the evening time. And you know that's three times, and it's just being active. Yeah, you know, activity is fun, and yeah. we look at activity like it's drudgery. But our bodies. Let me tell you something. You said no, no, no. My brother said it was a physical therapist. He said the body is the only thing that when you use it, it gets stronger. He said yes. everything else. When you drive a car, it gets weaker. When you use a machine, it breaks down. But the body, when you just do ten of, you just do ten. It's gonna get stronger, so you better right. use it before you lose it. Lose it, but see, people don't know that. So, like, like if a person has arthritis in their knees, first of all, it's their food. But just say if they, so in their mind, it hurts. So I don't, I don't want to move it. No, no, no. It's gonna feel better if you use it. Yes, if it you is. move it, it's gonna feel better. But a person, you know, they're like, oh no, that's that hurts. I don't want to right. move it. And so, so that right there is a change in thinking, you know. And yeah. so for me. That's why I have the private group mindset maintenance. It's like, it's about, you got to shift your mindset. You, you know, it's like, I talk to people, some people, they're like, okay, Rochelle, tell me exactly what to do. It's like, no, 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 it's not about that. I want to educate you. You know what I mean? You have to know because I can tell you exactly what to do and you'll get results, but you won't maintain the results because you don't know the reason why, why you did it. Right. You right. know? So I'm like, no, no, you're not going to maintain those results. So I try to educate people. That's why I say I'm the health motivator. And I, that's why I'm always teaching. I'm teaching. I'm teaching, you know, uh, because people need to know. If you don't know, how can you, you can't maintain it. So you'll get results. But I have a phrase for those results. I call them 
a, a term. I call them false positives. False they're, they're, those, they're not real. You're not going to maintain that. You know, and sometimes, you know, you'll do exactly what I say, but you don't get the results. They'd be like, see, it doesn't work. I'm doing, I said, no, no, no. Sometimes I believe, this is my philosophy, that God withholds mm. the results because you don't have the right mindset. You don't have the, you, your premise behind what you're doing. It is wrong from the get go. You right. see? So uh, he ain't gonna even bless you with the results because you're not even thinking right. Yes. And when I try to tell people that they don't understand, I'm like, you don't understand how powerful this mind is. Yes. If you don't shift this, yes. people say, tell me this, tell me. That. I'm like, I can tell it, but it's not gonna last because you still got stinking thinking. That's your hundred. And but you know, the that's why I said earlier about this being spiritual warfare and that you're like a preacher. <laughs> you're like a body preacher <laughs> because body I, preacher. <laughs> Well, I'm just telling you, and it's, it, we, you know, it is something that needs to be prayed over because it's just like the elephant that, that doesn't run, that has been shackled for so long. We are a slave to what we've been doing. You know, uh, there's something that I have been doing for 45 years, and it's eating after eight o'clock um, mm. consistently. I love pretzels, goldfish. Chex Mix. I'm not the biggest cookies guy, even though I like cookies. I like Oreos. I like chocolate chip. But, you know, I don't need the whole row. That's other people's battle. I can eat a whole row, but that's not my thing. Right, 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 right. My thing is to watch something on Netflix and eat a whole... I'm not even the biggest chips guy. It's the salt. I Goldfish, Chex Mix, pretzels. And when I stopped eating after eight, I... Mm. Like a, a person that was a drug addict, I was sweating and I was shaking, and all I could think about was eating a snack, not food, but a snack. And it was to the point where it almost made me cry because I was addicted, me, addicted. And the only way that I made it was I said, Lord, this shouldn't be this hard. That means I have a problem. <laughs> I yeah. said, no, that mean, no, it means yeah. if I can't, if I can't and, and I, cause I told myself I'm gonna do 14 days of no, just no snacking after eight. I'm gonna do 14 days, that's it. That's not even that long, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not, it, and well, to be honest with you, I said no snacking, period. I uh -huh. did no snacking, but, but my point is, is that the after eight was one of those things that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. And that just means that this thing is bigger than a snack. It is that the enemy does not want you to be fit. He, the enemy doesn't want you to be Because see, if you're fit. John, John 10, 10, I'm telling you. You can be used. You, yeah. And you can't walk down those steps or up them steps. When you can't, when you can't bend, when you can't do so, it impacts your ability to be used. That's right. And so, and we got a bunch of excuses but the reality is, is that we have to break the pattern that we have been in. And I just thank God. And so I'm afraid to go back to snacking. I bought almonds. I got almonds. I said, I'm, <laughs> I, got all, I got almonds and I got some pistachios. And I'm not even really, I'm just, you know, I just ain't snacking right now. My, my best yeah. snack is apple. That's my Yeah, that's, that's a great that's, snack. That's, and, 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 and I got a, uh, I got Ezekiel bread with some, uh, with, with, and I put a little bit of organic peanut butter on it that I got from mom's and I love Come on. It. And that's where that, that apple and that peanut butter, that, uh, you know, and some low fat cheese sometimes, but rarely, you know? And so anyway, anyway, I don't know. Yeah. Like hey, listen, listen, man. Um, it's real. So, so in my training as, as a certified health coach, so I, I have, I'm certified with the, um, um, Institute with uh, Institute for Integrative Nutrition, and we learn that there's primary and there's secondary food, right? And so the logical person would think the food we eat is primary food. That's really secondary food, right? Primary food has to do with physical activity, uh, healthy relationships, satisfying career, and spirituality. And so normally. When there's an issue with the secondary food, right? People have a problem with that because there's an issue with the primary food. And so and when I'm dealing with people, because it's food, it's food ain't the problem. It's not food. It's never food. Food is just a symptom, right? Mm. 
So when I'm dealing with people, um, that's what people are like, I don't know why I was doing so well. I don't know why I keep falling off because it's not food. It's something else. And so in my coaching, I'm talking to people and it's, it's almost like counseling. You know what I mean? You start peeling back the onion, asking questions, seeing what's going on with the person. And so like with the people I coach, I'm like, you got to let me in. You got mm-hmm. you got you got to you gotta take the mask off. You got to let me in. You got to be transparent, you know, because um, I mean, I've dealt with people. People have issues, you know, in their marriage and relationships with their kids. Anything it could be it could be problems at their job. The super. Yeah. I mean, it, it just could be anything that's affecting them with in the secondary part in the food. And so uh, I tell them all the time, it ain't food. It is spiritual warfare. It is. You know, that's why I was so. That's why Bob for God is so powerful because you're being held accountable with the scriptures. Like they have scripture memorization. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so when, in that time, when you struggle and you have that scripture, you know, I know Leroy, when he went through, he used to carry scriptures right here in his uh, breast pocket, you know, something you can call back on, you know, Galatians 5, 16, you know, uh, 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 walking in the spirit. So you won't satisfy the lust of the flesh, you know, no, I mean, like, like you have something to, to, to fall on just like, you know, same thing, knowing the word, but I mean, but specifically for food and what you're dealing with, just something, that you can like, okay, God, you know? And so I tell my people now that I coach, because I'm a Christian, so I, I, scripture is all inundated <laughs> in what I do, you know what I mean? But I'm like, listen, uh, pray, you know, then what, what can I do at pray? Yeah. Right, right at that time, but you got to want to pray. Yeah. See, because if you're if you're a believer, you know God answers prayer. You already know that, but you, you got to ask him, you got to want it. That's why people say, I don't know, I just, I couldn't help myself. I ate the burger. You didn't ask God. I promise you, if you'd asked him, he'd have he'd delivered you. You didn't ask him at that time. You didn't want to ask him, you know? So so uh, I'm like, don't be lying to me. I know what I know what my God can do. If you ask him, he'd have delivered you from eating that burger. I, I want to share two things, two quick things. My dad, the, the late, great James Booker Jones, he said, you know, son, if you mess up, just do the next right thing. And the, oh, the good thing about um, this whole journey is that if if you if you don't have a good uh, Saturday, man, Monday get up. But let's get it. Let's get it back. Because what ha- what I'm noticing is that when um, and I noticed this because I, I didn't feel too well um, a couple weeks ago, and I had a couple days where I really needed to rest. And so mm-hmm. you know if you can't, you know this is like how the world how it comes at you sometimes. You know bere- death bereavement things in your life happen. You can't get out there. Well. Once that's uh, once that little season, two, three, four days are over. Okay, get back now. Let's get back. Um, but we we can't we can't fall off because what? because we've come too far. Yeah. And 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 and, and we can do this. We Absolutely. Can. Absolutely. And um, so we had buy for God and we had treasures of healthy living, and that was the biblical nutrition class. And in both of those classes, we used to watch videos. And um, this one video we would show. In the treasures class, it was a uh, doctor in Baylor um, Medical School, uh, Dr. Cooey. It was an interview. He was talking to a uh, uh, an older woman, and she he was trying to, um, I guess I won't say convince her, but just kind of encourage her to start walking. You know, and she said to him, she said, Dr. Cooey, you know, my knees hurt so bad I can barely walk. Mm. And his response to her was, "Then start barely right. walking." That's right. You know, and so so many people think I can't do like they see me or say you do a 25 minute plank. I can't do that. I said, no, but you probably can do a five second plank. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You see. So in the person's mind, when they say I can't do planks. No, no, you probably can't do a minute plank, but I'm sure you could do a five second plank. Mm -hmm. You you see. So you but they don't consider that as doing something like you have to. You don't have. What's the saying? They say you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You just Mm got to start. That's well, that's what it's up here. And uh, I'll tell you, I uh, I definitely uh, I just and it's kind of like going back to the world. To be very honest with you, you have to uh, continue every day to make this a mindset because um, you know the, you know there for the grace of God it be me um, that gets back into the muck and the mire. And so um, I, I was going to share this one thing with you. You had you you had made a statement earlier about when things happen and uh, you know what my, one of my strategies is when the cookies come out because the kids my kids right you know they they're the devil they they, they, <laughs> they, they, they like toll house cookies and so what uh-huh. they do 
is uh, they know that our bottom oven preheats much quicker than the top oven. And so they go to the bottom oven and I, and I look over there and I see it's about heated up and they, 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 they put these about 10 cookies and, and, and they smell up the whole main level. And so what happens is they bring the tray around. Mm. And uh, do you know, I would say, the, I know for a fact the last two times, I told them the same thing Job said to his wife, where he said, <laughs> she said, curse God and die. He said, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> uh, I went downstairs and I ran three miles. And I'm not saying that like bragging or telling people to do that. But what I'm saying is that sometimes you got to go the other way. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. And when the enemy enters my mind with, vulgarity um um you know i don't want to be ghetto on here but anything that you can think of negative sometimes yeah. i can go and, and, and put on some worship music you yeah. know because you have to you have to counteract it absolutely sometimes you sit in it you can uh you kind of just be a slave to it, and then that's when you're like, so I had something, you know, the Bible says flee from temptation. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So, that's right. So, no, I went, I'm downstairs. Uh -huh. I'm running and I turn. And running you know, for your life, okay? I come upstairs and I'm like, I beat y'all. I'm like, I beat you. That's right. Yeah. And now yeah. guess what I want? I want my water. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm a little fanatical about that. Yeah. But, uh, hey, man, but you do, you do what you got to do. You know, I mean, what you're doing is you're, you're building up your resist, your your resiliency. Yes. You know, now you won't always have to do that, you know. But right now, that's what you got to do. And then at the time, the cup, the cookie come out, you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't want any. That's you right. Know? Yeah, and I'm not saying that that's what everybody got to do. I'm just saying right now, I'm on. Well, and let me let me say this to you. I am. I have a goal, and I, I've hit my goal. And so now, I my goal was 185. Mm -hmm. And and so now I'm really looking at. Um, my, the makeup of my body because it's not about a target weight because mm -hmm. everybody's body is different. Right. So now my goal is really to be fit and to and for my body to feel optimal and for yeah. me to be, be energized. And so my goal was 185 and I hit it. I mean, I, and I, you know, I hit it. I, I, you know, I was stuck at 194 for like three months. And you know why? Because of weekend cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I would work out every day. I would watch what I ate. And then the weekend, uh, even after eight o'clock and, you know, it, it was, I just ruined my whole week. I, I, I kept ending up at a, at a net zero because it wasn't a lifestyle. Yeah. And it wasn't until. Well, it was I, a lifestyle. It was a lifestyle for 194. Yeah. It wasn't a lifestyle for 185. <laughs> it was not. It was not. <laughs> People don't understand that. I remember, um. You, when you um you remember a guy uh Claiborne Claiborne Earl Clay Earl he used to go to the church years ago he's nah. a naturopath I'm okay. gonna tell you we've been knowing Clay since I was in college I was a probably a senior at Howard um we, he was a bowl we knew him from the bowling alley so he used to bowl with us and so I mean he was there so he used to be a member of Wishstream Church uh when well when it was LNBC years okay. ago Okay. And so I think he left probably when we went to Eleanor Roosevelt High School. When we, I think he left after that because he never made it to, you know, which stream where we are now. But anyway, um, he told us years ago, I told you he's a naturopath. He used to be like, uh, the kitchen closes at eight. Talking about, you know, shut it. I mean, no, I'm sorry, not eight, not eight, six. Oh, he said the kitchen closes at six. Oh, oh we wow. Say, Clay, you didn't bump your head. Ain't a man, we still out doing whatever at six o'clock. And he's like, I'm telling you. Now, when you look at Clay still today, because I still go to him. I haven't been to him since COVID, but I still go. He does colonics and, you know, all this other stuff. And he has, you know, you know, um, you know, these natural supplements or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, what was I about to say? He taught we he used to come and speak to our Bob for God class. Okay. Um, we would bring him in to speak or whatever because he wealth of knowledge or whatever. And this was like way back, like I'm talking 20 some years ago. He was telling us the kitchen closes at six. I'm like, Clay, this this don't even make sense. I mean, like, ain't nobody paying on it. He used to tell us about the kitchen closing at six. He used to tell us milk, dairy was no good. Like, he told us this long time ago. Now, now the stuff he taught, now I'm saying it. You know, the same stuff he was telling us then, now I'm saying it. And so, you closing the kitchen at six? Yeah. Oh, really? So my eight o'clock is too late. Because, I mean, we, 
Yeah, we don't. We don't. I mean, I I make that statement, but uh, you know, the goal we normally eat around six thirty, sometimes yeah. seven. 30. You're saying that that's too late. Okay. Okay. Well, hey. Okay. See, that's why I need to take the program because see, I would have had that information. You'd have had that information. Okay. You'd have had that information. Yeah, that's that's late. That's late. Only because when you think about it. If you're eating, just say 6.37, that means you're not finishing about 7.30. And what time are you going to bed? Well, I've been going to bed very early because I've been getting up, working out. Right. So so, so, so you think your body didn't, didn't metabolize that stuff? No, it hasn't. Okay. I, don't, I don't care how good it is. It ain't, it ain't metabolizing. Right? Okay. So, so, so whatever you do the next day, mm -hmm. it's trying to work off what you did last night. Thank you know what I mean? Right, it's it's right, still right. on you. Yeah, right. so you 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 shut that down at six, you probably you get under you'd be in the um one seventies. Right. Yeah. And honestly, if, if I had to knowing you and your height for me, I would say about one seventy five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. One, one, I mean, one seventy five. You boy, boom, boom, bada, boom, boom, everything, everything yeah. tight and right. Oh, everything. Wow. Come on, one seventy five wow. at 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 the most. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. At the yeah. most, and so that that's 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 a good fighting weight. That's solid. That's like very little body fat. Yes. Um, just you know me knowing you and your makeup, and you got the potential. I mean, you you got the the frame anyway. You just yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's late. Okay. You're eating late. Yes. Okay. Well, no, I'm not. Trust me, we're not trying to eat anywhere near eight. But that was my benchmark. Yeah, but, I got you. That's the wrong benchmark. Yeah, bring okay. that on, bring that on in, son. He told us that, like I said, over twenty years ago, we didn't believe it, but that's actually where we are now. Like I've already uh, eaten, you know. I had a big, as a matter of fact, I posted it on Facebook. Huge salad, huge. Um, I had a little, but I ate that at like um, probably like two something. That's okay. it. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's a wrap for me. Um, yeah. I mean, I just uh, and I feel great. That's what people are like. You only eat one meal. I'm like, but I feel great. I feel yeah. great. I mean, I ain't starving. I mean, do I like I'm starving? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm strong. I'm I'm yeah. I got energy. I mean, I I feel great at well, fifty, Corey. I promise you, I feel better at fifty than I than I did at thirty. I did have a situation either this week or last week where I ate around four four thirty, and my wife cooked dinner, and I said I'm not eating because I'm good already. I remember that, and so I think what it is is that. We have our routines and we stagger it so that we can eat around 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock instead of just preparing earlier. Yeah. And so I hear exactly what you're saying. This is what I mean. This is what I said earlier on when I was talking about strategies. You know, this is, you know, it's not changing anything other than what you eat. It's the time that you eat it, you know. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It makes all the difference. It makes all, all, the difference. all the difference. And so those are just some of the things we've done. Um, and it's worked, you know, Pops, you know lost a ton of weight and feels better. And he says, he says all, he's uh, healthier now than he was in college, you know, like, yes. like this weight, he's actually smaller now than he was uh, when we got married. He's smaller right now. Really? You know? Yeah. And we're going on 27 years. Can you believe it? Be, next month will be our anniversary already. Okay. 27. Yeah. That's serious. 27. That's, I really, yeah. So I was there at 25. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it will be 27. Um, Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we got married in 94. So um, yeah, 27 years, man. So God is good. God is good that I'm that I even still have a husband, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's something. Oh, man. So look, man, I, I definitely appreciate you coming on. Um, just sharing, you know what I mean? Uh, it's I always enjoy talking to you, Corey. I hope you know that. Yeah. It's always good to talk to Corey. I enjoy it. Oh, no. Okay. Tell the people about the champ. Tell, I told somebody, I said, I hope he tells a story. Come on, tell But, but you know what? The, it, there's not much to say other than when I see you, that's that's just like, you know, that's what I called you. And and I, I just was like, okay, champ. And you were like, how did you know that was my nickname? And I was like, I didn't know. I just, you, you, you the champ. Like, that's just what, what it is. Like, you know, you the champ, okay? And you were like, that's what my college coach used to call me, champ. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was my trainer, the guy that trained me for bodybuilding, Demetrius. Uh, he called me the champ just, just the same way you did. We were in the gym training. And he said, you know what? I, you know what I'm going to call you? You you champ. That's, that's what yeah. you are. You the, yeah. you the champ. It was the same way. 
But you know what? That word, I've never called anybody else champ in my life. And I don't even know why when I saw you that that's what I said. I mean, when I say I don't know why, I mean, I could have thought of a whole lot of other things, but that was the, that is the word. That's what I call you today, champ. I know. That's what he calls me today. He will send me a text. He'll be like, champ, champ is in the text. I promise yeah, you. Yeah. Just today. So that was so bizarre that, um, I remember that. I remember that. I was like, how did you know that? Like two, you and Demetrius, the only two. I said, wow, look at God. You know, so yeah. I must be, I must be doing something right. I must be doing something right. Um, for you to think that that's what I am. So, um, but thank you, Corey, for, for blessing not only me, but everybody that's going to hear this story. Right. And so this is someone who, like I said, who didn't formally go through my, like he said, he didn't formally go, but he went through it. Right. Cause he's been paying attention. Yeah. to the stuff that I've been saying and uh you know and I do want to say that it's impacted my household um my wife has changed what she cooks and she's a label reader now I mean Ooh. she used to put stuff in based on it being you know brown rice and not white rice you know like you know like the 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 the, the it says you know like on the front they say things like low sugar you know what I'm saying right right right, like, right. this one's low sugar you know yeah saying? yeah 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 and so, but now it's turned to the side. Let me turn this one to the side. And then what happens is now you know what you buy. And so you don't have to read all the labels because you already read labels and you know what you get when you go to that store. Exactly. Exactly. And you got to go to a couple stores now because, you know, this store doesn't have that, but this store does. So I go here for this and there for that. That's so right. That's right. That be your strategy. Yeah. And, so, and then, and then even taking it a step further in terms of making sure that you're vegetables and fruits are not wilting and having structured ways in your so that because you know when you start getting these things and paying all this money because fruits cost more than than oola noodle oola noodle cost 32 cents <laughs> okay. okay. you know i got to make sure that these this lettuce doesn't go bad in two days I right to, right 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 so you look at that, that expiration day yeah 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 <laughs> so yeah for sure that's the lifestyle part you start saying i gotta figure out because i'm not I'm not trying to go in there and these asparagus is, is old after four days. I got to figure out, I got to Google how to make sure they last for 10 days. And so those are yeah. the things as a family we're doing to try to get the biggest bang for our buck as we invest our money and time into what we put in our body and making sure it's the best thing for us. So anyway, yes. thanks for having me. Invest in your health. That's that's what we end this thing on. You have to invest in your health and not just uh, uh, invest uh, uh, money, but invest time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because learning how to read those labels takes time. Yeah. You know, I'll say this and we can wrap up. I remember when I first started doing this thing. Um, so Gabby was, was a baby. And so we used to go in the store, me and my, and my kids. And I would tell them, look, you go look, read the label. If it has this, 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 we not, you know what I mean? And it would take literally like three hours, you know, cause we're looking, cause I was still learning. So I'm, I'm, you know, so this is like 10, 11 years ago. You know, yes. I mean, Gabby is 11. So she was a baby and mm -hmm. we were looking and, you know, reading. It would take some time. But now I'm in and out because I know I know now, you know, yeah. I'm right. in and out. But it took it took some time. It took some time to learn. And um, and, and listen, that's and then I just start. Saying, that's how the don't fall for the okie doke came about. I, I, I got tired of going. I'm like, oh, this they tried to get you with this. They trying to get you. <laughs> And that, that's I'm like let me let me ask, let me tell the people let me show the people because the people gonna fall for this one. I want to show you one thing that my mother brought me today. That is what she does. See this right here. She said yeah. if she wants to have a pretzel or even some ice cream or some goldfish. She said she said this is what I put it in. And she said there's nothing wrong with having um, some ice cream. Just don't eat a lot. <laughs> wow. She wasn't really talking about ice cream. She was really yeah. talking about, um, you know, she's, she feels that way about wine as well. She says if she ever does any wine, which I don't drink, but she said um, she'll only do this much. And so this is her cup that, and I'm, I'm hopefully I'm not trying to promote any type of anything, uh, uh -huh. but I'm just saying yeah, her cup. Yeah, and, that ain't going to hurt you. And this is not going to hurt you. And she said she doesn't do any more than this. And she gave it to me today. Ooh. So, so I'm on some old no goldfish. But, um, 
But uh, I do think that sometimes, and then you've, and I, this is another thing. I actually wrote this down about you. You don't say you can't have that. You can't have that. You are a preacher of your diet is the ninety five percent, and that's then right. you have a couple pretzels, man. Go ahead, man. Absolutely, and that can't be your diet. That's right. And you don't really legislate. Never have a bowl of ice cream or a cup of ice cream. You know, you're just really getting into the lifestyle, and and and, and that is, um, and, and that's consistent with this right here. Absolutely. Oh, I appreciate Absolutely. it. You, yeah. you know more than you know. Well, I thank you for that, Corey, and praise God. That that's why I do what I do. You know, to hear stories like this. Honestly, uh, Pop says, you know. Like people, you can't put a price tag on your health. And people, they say, he said, people can never pay you enough for what you do. But That's what right. this is, is treasures in heaven. That's what yeah. you tell me. That's all this treasures in heaven, you know? Yeah. And so, so I thank you for sharing and just agreeing to come on and just speak. And, uh, you know, well, we love you guys. You know, I, I love your whole family, you know? So uh, look, I'm glad when this thing is over so we can go back to fellowship and, as, you know, like normal. At That's the right. church, and uh, but man, look, just God is you are a blessed man, you have a wonderful wife, wonderful family, um, whole family, not just your immediate family, but your wonderful brother, uh, sister in law, nieces, nephews, every uh, sisters, uh, uh, parents, I mean, everything, your mom. So, I just, just love your entire family, man. So, uh, thank you for coming on and uh, continue to do what you do. You got it. And I will continue watching you and following suit for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, there it is. Um, you, you, you heard it all from Mr. Corey Jones, uh, the man himself. Appreciate him so much. Uh, listen, share this, guys. Don't keep this to yourself. Share. This is someone who hasn't formally gone through any of my programs, but just pay attention. He follows me on my YouTube, you know, um, my uh, uh my don't fall for the okie dokes. I mean, I drop a hit. Listen, I drop a hit every Monday, 11 a.m. Uh, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I drop don't fall for the okie doke. Mm. Um, every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Friday is a, a new episode of Mindset Talks. It's a recording. So follow me, YouTube. Um, Rochelle T. Parks, Rochelle T. Parks. Okay, you want to become part of my texting community? Um, text Hey Coach Row to 240-650-9140. Okay. 240-650-9140. Become a part of my texting community just so you can get the exclusive content, be the first to be notified about what's going on in Rochelle T. Parks' life. All right, that's all I got, guys. Hey, this is Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. And guess what? Whether you like it or not, mm -mm -mm, I do not care. I can, I will, and I must continue to walk alongside you and help you to achieve optimal health. We out. Amen. Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I'm Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Hey, before you go, I just want to invite you to join me. No, no, join us. Join us in my next fruit and vegetable challenge, guys. Seven days. Seven days to change your life. I do it every month, the first seven days of every month, and I want to see you next month, okay? So click the link below and go ahead and join me, and I'll see you next month. Let's go. Peace.